Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of gynecomasia with mastitis. A 58 years old male patient came with painful left breast lump. He had history of taking drugs for his cardiac problems. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here we have used the high frequency linear transducer to evaluate the right breast which was apparently normal. You see there is no fat plane irregularity and no development of dense mammary layer. We put color doppler and there was no aberrant vascularity within the right breast region. Now let's jump into the left breast for which patient came. Here you can see the left breast region shows an irregular hypoechoic area at the left retroareolar region. You see surrounding fat plane appears irregular which indicates possibility of inflammatory process. This is the proliferated mammary layer along with some proliferation of mammary ducts. We put the color doppler and you can see the vascularity in comparison to the right breast it is increased. So this proliferation of mammary layer with fat plane irregularity and increased vascularity indicates gynecomasia with mastitis. Here is another picture we have decreased the scale or pulse repetition frequency and you can see the vascularity is very high here. In normal breast you won't see this type of vascularity even you decrease the pulse repetition frequency. Here's the picture you can see the irregular hypoechoic triangular area with adjacent fat plane irregularity noted at the left subareolar region. We have tried to measure the volume of the proliferated mammary tissue. Here again the color doppler picture where you can see the increased vascularity indicating the inflammatory process. Here we have checked the sample from the vessel supplying the lesion and it shows moderate to low resistant flow indicating the inflammatory process. So in summary, a triangular hypoechoic area is noted in the left retroareolar region with proliferation of the mammary layer and ducts and surrounding fat plane irregularity. Color Doppler shows increased vascularity within the left retroareolar hypoechoic area. So this features concluded as a case of gynecomasia with mastitis. Now the take home message. The inflammatory change is not uncommon in gynecomasia. The use of color Doppler may help exclude this inflammatory change. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.